Hey guys, Steve here from Top Guns. I'm here once again with Emery Morgenstern out of Colorado. And Emery's gonna give me some quick tips today on how to use a knife, how to grip a knife, and basically how to keep myself safe if I don't have my firearm on. Right, so this is this is just the basic, uh, you know, we'll talk about grip and stance because it, it varies a little bit. Um, this comes from Marshall Blade Concepts, which I'm an instructor of, uh, and that comes from Michael Janich, who I think is just amazing. And I've, I've had the tremendous luck to be studying under him for the last four years. Excellent. So uh, the system is based a lot around what you carry. And you have to be able to quantify the destructive power of your little knife that you have in your pocket, okay? Sure. So as far as the grip, uh, we prefer the Filipino grip when you're talking about regular grip, which means your blade is coming to your thumb side of your hand, okay? Filipino grip incorporates having your, your thumb going over the spine of the blade here. And what that gives you is really two things. One is, uh, one is as I'm cutting my target, I'm actually indexing with my thumb. So if I'm just using a hammer grip like most people are naturally inclined to do, you're gonna be less accurate. And NBC is really, and knife fighting in general is really all about targeting. If you're just slashing all over the place, you're not gonna be effective at ending that fight quickly, which is what we want. I don't care how many slices you have, I'd like to put in less cuts and get more effect out of it. Sure. So that's the one reason. The second thing is, when I put my thumb on the spine of the blade here, and I cut, as I'm cutting, I'm actually applying a lot more pressure directly onto my blade and all the way down into the tip of my blade. So in, in, in essence, if your thumb was down here, then the pivot point becomes here, which means exactly. as it hits resistance, whereas by putting that thumb on there, now we're exactly supporting exactly. it basically. Right. Great. So that's why, you know, I typically like a nice, uh, a nice spine on my knives. That's maybe a little bit curved mm -hmm. and I like some file work on there that gives me that purchase. Gotcha. Um, so that's and that. for those people that don't understand the term purchase, in this case meaning? Right, means grip. grip. So if you have, if you have a, a knife like this, for example, uh, and, and I love Benchmade. I carried a Benchmade all through the, my military service. Um, but you see how it's got this little, um, this little grind up here, right? And we have these little plunge lines, and that makes the spine a little narrower. And for somebody who holds, this is actually re reasonably comfortable considering that. Mm -hmm. uh, I like a nice thicker spine, so it gives my thumb room to rest and then some file work on the back usually kind of grips into my thumb a little bit. Excellent. The second thing I'll say is about gripping, uh, is, I'm sorry, about stance. Okay, so when we get into our regular fighting stance, open hand, sure. right? So most people, when they square up to somebody, they'll stand like this in what we call a boxing stance, right? Sure. So I'm right-handed, so that means left foot forward, and that's gonna give me that really powerful right punch. Gotcha. Super. Now, when I was taught to fight with a knife in the military, that's how we did it. Um, the difference here is, and this comes, this is not only MBC, this comes from a lot of the knife arts, you know, Kali, Silat, all those things. Um, what we're doing is we're actually gonna switch our feet. So I'm gonna have my right foot, in this case, because I'm right hand knife, my right foot's gonna be facing forward. And here's the reason why. I'll put this knife away because it's a live blade. Okay, and I'll show you a demonstration. I don't feel as nervous now. <laughs> so, if I'm in my regular fighting stance and I have a knife in my hand, in my right hand, okay, I'm going to reach out and why don't you come to me until my thumb touches, okay? Now watch, now I'm going to switch my feet, no, no, come, come, come okay. to me, okay, now I'm going to switch my feet, watch what happens. My center of gravity is going to say, and my center of mass is going to stay in the same point, okay? But as soon as I switch my feet, it's giving me more range, okay? So when I have I a I let weapon, him do that. <laughs> so when I have a weapon in my hand, uh, a cutting weapon, I'd rather present that first so that if Steve is my assailant and he's coming at me with a knife, I can reach him before he reaches me. It's giving me a little bit of an advantage. Excellent. So a little tip on knife fighting. Excellent. Thanks. That's today's quick tips. Hey, one more thing is uh, if they want to check you out and learn more about you, where can they check you out at? CombatForceAcademy.com. All right. So you can check him out there. He teaches in Colorado, former Israeli Special Forces, but you can also check him out here at Top Guns. We fly him in every so often to help train us and train our students as well. So we bring him in. You can do privates with him here and or you can get in one of his classes. As always, thanks for watching. Take care.